Welcome back, everybody. So, in the last um, video, we did we did this, which is um, Ohm's law, V over I equals R. Okay, and I explained that it was a bit of a puzzle. Okay, puzzles are good fun, and they don't need to be complicated. V over I equals R. V over I equals R. Do you remember? So let's just uh, redo that. Ooh, I think the microphone might be a wee bit close. Um, this, by the way, video is suitable if you are studying for the foundation license exam or anybody else who just might be interested in how to calculate power from, uh, that's watts, from volts and amps and resistance and things like that. By the way, this is on page four of this book, but, uh, you know, if you're interested, that's fine. I'm not expecting a lot of views on this video, so maybe you would reward me with a thumbs up. Or if you're a professional and you know all about this, you can watch my presentation. Give me a score out of 10, if you like. <laughs> uh, use the black pen. So to remind us, V over I equals R. So if we've got 12 volts, 2 amps, we know that 12 divided by 2 is 6. Good. How do we calculate power? And by the way, I'm going to come on to how to reverse how to reverse engineer this in an exam because I'll show you the sort of questions they're going to ask. So power watts comes down this line a little bit further. What power is, um, and it's called watts, is again part of this relationship is that V times I is power and we measure power in watts. All right. So let's do a nice simple example over here. We'll do one of the examples we had last time, 12, 2 and 6. OK, so V over I equals R and then we'll calculate the power. All right, so I'll do red. So I'll have a 12 volts there. We'll have, let's say, 2 amps. And do you remember how to calculate the resistance? Well, V over I equals R. So 12 divided by 2 is 6. So 6. Similarly, we could have calculated um, I by doing V divided by R equals I. V 12 divided by 6 is 2. Easy. So what is the how many watts are being consumed if that circuit stayed on all the time is that we will come down this line here. All right, this line. So we've got 12 and we've got 2. How many watts is that? 2 12 to 24. Now I could end the video there, but I'm going to show you the sort of question you would get in an exam. Okay? The sort of question you're going to get would would miss out some of these. So it might give us 24 watts and it might give us the volts it might even give us the resistance but it will want to know what the current is and this is going to prove your understanding of ohm's law and how to work uh, power out so whatever they give you in the exam it might say something like we've got a circuit that is consuming 24 watts we have a 12 volt circuit Consuming 24 watts. What is the resistance? Where that what what would I do? So you get a scrap piece of paper and you do what Callum says V over I R and then you put W down there because this line here and we will fill out what what they've asked. So the question is We have a circuit consuming 24 watts. So you'll write 24 there and it will say uh, and it's got a 12 volt battery, let's say. So you'll write 12 there. The question is, what is the resistance, right? Well, we know that V times I is W, right? V times I is W. So, um, or W divided by V is I as well. So in power, what would the answer be here 
because we just need to fill out all the blanks. Once we fill out all the blanks, we can work out what the resistance is. Well, that times that is that. We know that two 12s are 24, okay? And 24 divided by 12 is two. So we can write two in there. This is on your scrap piece of paper. And then we go, right then, what is the resistance? This is a standard triangle that Callum taught me on the video. Uh, well, V over I equals R. So 12 divided by two is six. So the answer is gonna be six. So it will say, we've got 24 watts being consumed at 12 volts. What is the resistance? You'll be able to work it out. Okay, I'll do one more for you, just in case I was, I plundered a bit on there. So we are asked the question in the exam, we have a 12 volt battery and we know we are consuming 12 watts of power. What is the current? Okay, so you get your scrap piece of paper out and you'll write it down. You know you've got a 12 volt battery because that's gonna be, and it said uh, we've got, how many, what did I just say? <laughs> I've forgotten. I'll start again. Okay, so let's say the question is, I have a 12 volt battery consuming six watts of power, six watts of power. So you get your scrap paper out and you'll just jot a six down here. And then it will say, what is the current? And you'll say, I've got no idea, right? So the only thing we do know is this is Ohm's law, V over I equals R. And we know that's watts. So we need to fill in the blanks, all right? Okay, well, we know that something times something is six. That'll be a half, because half of 12 is six. So the answer to this one is going to be 0 0.5. It might ask, well, what is the resistance? Okay, well, that's not a problem. You've got your little scrapbook out here. 12 divided by 0 0.5 is R. How many halves are there in 12? All right, 24. So the answer will be 24. So don't panic, just put your own slow triangle down, draw W down bottom left, and gradually fill out all the blanks, and that'll be another question asked. Hopefully I've done that, because this is the second take. The first take, I drove to the office in the car and thought oh, I could have done that a lot better. <laughs> so I'm not doing it again. It's all explained on page four and five, and I'm just here to kind of help you out and give you that extra confidence. All right, so it's here. Page four, power and resistance. P equals V times I, there we are. Um, it goes on about resistance here. I'm not teaching in the whole blooming book. I'm like your brush up lecturer, okay? Next comes series and parallel circuits, light emitting diodes, alternating currents and voltages. I'm gonna miss all that out. You're, you can read that, uh, AC, if you don't know about it, you'll, you'll have to look it up. I'll tell you what I will do next, though, is frequencies. Okay, how to calculate frequency from wavelength and all that sort of stuff. Because that's easy. As I said at the beginning, if I deserve it, give me a thumbs up. And if you've got a different way of explaining this, by all means, <coughs> write me a comment. And if you're a lecturer or you do training yourself, maybe you can take something from this and go, oh, I wouldn't have done it that way, but I would have done it that way. And that's quite, <coughs> excuse me, that's quite interesting. All right, so from Callum here in a bunker and the next video up here, I bid you farewell. All the best now, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.